There's a simple analogy of a lady who had a bird and spent tremendous amount of energy decorating the cage. And when a neighbor came by, she said, look at this beautiful bird cage. And it was the most beautiful bird cage that the neighbor had ever seen. But she was horrified because the bird inside was dead due to starvation. The purpose of the cage is for the bird. <laughs> now this may sound like a very simplistic story, but it's the story of life throughout this world, throughout history. We are putting so much energy into the conditions of the body and mind, which is necessary and important. But yoga means to harmonize the body, the mind, and the living force, the soul, which is seeking pleasure. And what is that pleasure of the soul? We can understand that in our common life. The only pleasure that really touches the heart is the pleasure of loving and being loved. It's our most fundamental need. You can have so much, but if you don't have someone to love and you don't feel loved, it's all superficial. It's all like a decorated cage, but no substance for us. The Gita explains why this is common to every living being. Because the Atma, or the life force, is Satchidananda. It is eternal, full of knowledge, and full of bliss. 